Can we just start without him? Or what's the deal here? What time is it? Give him four more minutes, then we'll start without him. Julie, she's still there? Yes, I'm here. Oh, there's Dennis. Dennis is right there. I see him. I see him. Okay, He's right cool. there. I see him. He's got his right, brand new up? Reebok tank top on. So, Good to go. You see me okay? Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Let's start this. Julius, can you see us? Yes. Okay, so Lafitte will be hosting. He will uh, bring up the topic. Then we will go around, give everybody maybe two minutes to give their opinion or thought or whatever. And then he'll ask if, you know, if there's like a rebuttal to whatever anybody may have said. And we'll discuss it. And then we will go from there. All right. So when he calls your name, then it's your time to talk. And then uh, we take breaks as well, just to kind of give everybody a second or two to um, dip back into whatever. Sound good? Hello. All right. Here Julius. we go. Hello. Here we go, everyone. Julius, hello. Yes. Okay, good. He's there. Apparently he understood everything. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Did you hear, oh, what, I, did right. you hear what I said? Yes. Hello? Uh, we're going to take some breaks. Uh, I have to give my opinion. Uh, how long it'll take? Two minutes? I don't think in two minutes I can explain what I have to explain, but... You know, I'll try to be as short as possible because uh, uh, the earth theory is not a, a, a really a long subject. And I will come with something which everybody can think about. And if I would be in Colorado of those big meetings, I will ask them that question. But I'll get to that later. So, okay. Hold uh, your thought. Hold your thought. We're getting ready to start. Ready, Lafayette? Let's. Colorado. Let's go. All right. Here we go. All right. Uh, okay. Well, three. Hold on. There's a cat walking across. All right. Here we go. Okay. You move. Oh, there we go. All right. Three, two, and welcome to Nerds Talking, the podcast, season one, episode six, if I'm not mistaken. This is what we call the conspiracy theory episode, part one. I'm pretty sure you can talk about this stuff forever. For sure, this podcast just on conspiracy theories. And you know the usual suspects. We got Carlos. Hello. We got Dennis. Yo, yo. And we have our guest, Julius, is in the house. He Hi. is a friend of Carlos's. And, um, you know, we're going to just jump right into it with our very first topic based on very popular YouTube. Not YouTube, I should say. Well, it is YouTube as well, but a Netflix show. I think it's called Beyond the Curve. And uh, is it beyond or behind the curve? Behind, behind the curve, the curve behind. on Netflix. It's about flat earth or flat earthers. Um, it's a very odd topic, really. But um, if you're a flat earther, um, I'd love to hear from you. And, um, and if you're not, then I'd like to hear your rebuttal against the flat earthers. So let's start it off. We'll start with uh, Carlos. Go ahead. Give us your take on not necessarily the the documentary, but just the idea of flat Earth. Well, uh, I don't really know where to begin, uh, but I mean, it's just odd that some people actually believe that the Earth is flat, or still believe. I don't. You know what? I don't even think they still believe. I think that. They went down the rabbit hole and looked into one YouTube video, then another, then another, then kind of convinced themselves that the earth is flat or they wanted to join something that they just wanted to be a part of something is what it was. I mean, I, I see these people as people that don't really have anywhere that they belong. So they want to be a part of something. Dennis, stop shaking your head. You don't even, <laughs> not even done. Uh, they just want to be a part of something. They want to belong to something, so they attach themselves to a group. And in this uh, instance, the group is Flat Earthers. I think it's uh, kind of odd. I mean, uh, Dennis, I'll throw it to you. You're nodding your 
throwing your head back and forth. Uh, <laughs> like, no, you don't believe it. But after you give your opinion, then we'll go back and talk about the documentary. But go ahead, Dennis. Let's, let's hear your take on why people believe the earth is flat. But, you know, like the whole... Who is, who is the guy that came out about was NBA guy? Um, Kyrie? Kyrie, Kyrie Irving. Irving. Yes. Kyrie Irving, right. Yeah. Came out about it. And then, then there's like a few NBA players that kind of opened up and said that they believe that the earth is flat, right? Um, I just kind of like, you know, you know, the, I'm kind of like the, the, the normal average person that just kind of like has been, you know, has been, you know, in this like, you know, like earth science, uh, you know, what we've been told, you know, the whole life about, you know, how earth is, right? Like, you know, being round and we're yes. you know, um, normal. It's normal people, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't really know if that's considered normal because I mean, it's almost just, it's just as a society, that's that's how we, we've been kind of thought and, you know, um, we've been raised that way for many years. And I think, just kind of seeing these people come out, come out and just spew this, uh, you know, idea that, you know, going the opposite way, uh, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is, you know, like, what are you talking about? It just kind of disbelief, but, you know, just kind of looking at the documentary, watching the documentary and, and kind of hearing more about the ideas that were presented in that documentary. I think, you know, they, they had some compelling ideas. Um, you know, it's, I think it's just, in my eyes, it's more of just kind of this, this uh, kind of proving the point, just kind of, they, they came with a conclusion and they had, they're trying to come up with some sort of um, ideas to prove that, you know, what we've been told all along is incorrect. Uh, just trying to come up with different experiments and trying to come up with but what is your take on it? My take on it? Yes. I'm, I'm honestly like, I don't have any take on it. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of like in the, you know, I'm kind of neutral about it. I'm just. So would you say that before you watched the documentary, you were like, yeah, the earth is round. And now you're like, ah, oh, God damn it. I'm confused. Well, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's more about just being open-minded at this point. Really. It's, People, right. who, okay. people who are coming up with these ideas, it's, 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 it's not about just proving that, you know, what we've been told is, is incorrect. It's just more of, hey, it, it's explore it for yourself and not just, you know, go in this path that we've been told that, you know, to, to just kind of get, you know, just continue on this path that we've been told all along that it's, it's the only way that we, we should be thinking, right? Like, so that's basically, but that take is anything that's a religious take that's a, that's a anything take just don't go against what you've been taught your whole life well i think that's that's i think to me that's the main the the, the, the whole driving point i mean it's not like just i think but see i don't the, think the, that's flat, the... the flat earther is it goes beyond about above the idea of just being a flat believing that the earth is flat i think it's more the idea that you know we're we're limiting ourselves into this idea that what what we see is just pretty much um, how it is, right? Like, do we believe that everything that's presented to us is is real and and is accurate? And should well, we just go, you know, should we so just go take along? On it, and, so your so, take on it is basically you're using that as a jump point for question everything, right? Like some sort of X Files thing. The truth is out there. Is that what you're trying to say? Exactly. I mean, and it, I mean, I don't want to bring up the Truman show but not I mean, yet that's... you hold on to that i know you want to use it so bad uh, let's, move on, on to, uh, let's move on to julius One julius side. what is julius what is your take on the flat earthers and their their it's not really a conspiracy well it's a conspiracy how they how they lay it out but it's more it's i don't know it's bullshit but go ahead well uh first catholic church came up with that uh, centuries ago that the, the earth is flat anybody else who wouldn't believe so they would be uh, uh, prosecuted or even killed and uh, Galileo Galilei was one of the scientists and astrologists, Italian astrologists, who uh, have uh, got a confrontation with the Catholic Church over uh, flat earth towards uh, his uh, new idea that uh, the earth is ar uh, around. 
so, okay, let's, uh, th this is very simple to understand. It's not hard. I would say in my opinion, 99.9% .9 the earth is surrounded, just like everything else around. And only 1% left, just because I'm a very open-minded person, but that, that percent compared to 99%, it's almost nothing. So uh, in your minds, uh, go on an ocean and send a helicopter up and send a boat at the same time. And they have to be at the same distance, the helicopter and the boat. Now the helicopter is up and that, because it's so high, of course, it's not going to go, or if the uh, earth is around, that it's not going to go around the curve because it's still very high. And the binocular that you have, have to have a power to see to a certain distance. And you will see that the boat will disappear and the helicopter will get lower and lower and lower, but you're still going to be able to see the helicopter, but not the boat. And they are exactly at the same distance. That can be an experiment that any time which prove the earth is around, that's one. Now, take a, a, a powerful telescope. You look out in a universe, everything that you see around uh, uh, you, it, it, up in the sky, everything is around. We're talking about all the planets. Uh, well, the moon, we all know, we can see it with a clear eye. Uh, you see all the planets, for example, you see Venus with a clear eye certain times a year when it, uh, when it get closer. You see Mars also as well. So they are all around and you can see with your own eyes without binocular or without telescope. So that proved that everything else, you can see the stars. You look far away and if you have a powerful telescope, you also see that everything is around it. You see all the galaxies, they form a circle. That's because they are in spinning, everything is spinning. Uh, and I come with a key question over here to anybody who bring this theory that the earth is flat and that will, will put this theory off completely. And I will tell you in a minute. So let's say, let's say that the sun it's spinning around the earth. We know the moon does. Let's see, say all the planets spin around the earth. Let's say, okay, let's accept that. Well, I don't accept, but let's put it as a theory. But then the stars, which move the position on the sky, when you look in the sky, the stars not gonna st is, uh, stay still in the same position. They are moving. So my question is to everybody who come with the the uh, flat uh, uh, earth theory, is this universe moving around the earth? If the st stars are moving around, that means the entire universe is moving around the earth. How is that possible? Just the earth stays still and everything in existence, it's moving around the earth. Yeah, yeah, just like, yeah, exactly what you're saying. Like as if, <laughs> as if we're the center of the universe. It, it, it's just to me, <laughs> That means there's supposed to be heaven, which is not. We don't even know what heaven is, but I'm saying, hypothetically, for everything to turn around. Okay, I would accept, let's say, let's say, which I don't, but let's say the sun, uh, sun and all the planets turn around the Earth. But how come the entire universe is turning around the Earth? And on other universes, we scientists seen through binoculars that they are... And they also, no, I'm sorry, to powerful telescopes, they seen around the Earth 3,500 planets they discovered. All are rounded and all have one or two suns and uh, all have moons turning around them. Jupiter has so many moons, Saturn has so many moons. Uh, almost every planet have a moon turning around them. So, uh, and everything is rounded. Yeah. To yeah, me, yeah, yeah. to me, the flat earth theory, like Carlos, like like you said, I agree with you 100 percent. Some people want to belong to a group and they want to feel important. Uh, they want to uh, form their own club. Also, they want to make money, of course. They want to be recognized. It's a human behavior. You have to follow human behavior and then you understand why they do what they do. Yeah. And but, then and then absolutely. you got they, they, flat earthers that think, you no know, NASA 
NASA is basically fake. Everything NASA does is fake. So when they they actually believe that when you shoot a a, a rocket into space, like they did this past weekend when NASA and SpaceX did the you know launch to the space station, they actually think that's all fake. The space station is fake. They're la- launching these spaceships into space, but then they're just they're coming right down right away. They just it's all for visual aspect. They think that when they take a picture of Earth from space, it's fake. Everything's fake. Everything NASA does is fake. It's just NASA is a movie production to appease the the population. It's not it's not real. It's I'm telling you, flat Earth is such an odd, odd. I'm not. It's not really a conspiracy theory. It's just make believe bullshit for people to, like you said, feel good about themselves in some type of way. But it's weird that people actually believe that Earth is flat at this point. Like you brought up Galileo, and even then he didn't have the technology of today, but yet he knew that flat no the earth was not flat and the fact that people still think the earth is flat and they just keep bringing up the same points over and over they have no there's no actual well there's no there's zero proof that the earth is flat i mean we have like dennis said well we're, you're, you're taught this from a childhood and why can't it be something different why is it that everybody's taught the same thing well because that's a fact you're taught a fact i mean you know, that's just what it is. And that's why you're taught that. It's not like it's not like you're taught a political point from somebody else is different. This is this is just a fact. The earth is freaking round. Now, well, what's uh, funny is that you mentioned that. Um, well, it's funny that you mentioned they all for some reason. I mean, they want you to be open minded. You know, they want you to you know think outside the box. But what's funny is that anytime they mention NASA, NASA is the enemy. I mean, why would you give yourself an enemy? There shouldn't be any enemies if you're open-minded, if you want to think about things. And what's funny is about these people is that this is actually new. I mean, the reason they started doing this is because of YouTube and social media. This is something new. I mean, they just, like I said before, they just want to be a part of something. And so they planted the seed and then other people picked up on that and they jumped down the rabbit hole and then the other rabbit hole and then the other rabbit hole. And then like Kyrie Irving, he actually apologized, saying that that's what he did. He jumped down the rabbit hole. He went far too down the rabbit hole and it got him thinking, well, maybe it's possible, but I'm sorry, it's not possible. And what's funny is that even the flat earthers, no matter what experiment you debunk of theirs, they will tell you that you did it wrong. Something you did is wrong. And what's funny is that to them, Google is 100% fact. Anything that you Google and whatever Google kicks back at you is 100% fact. And then it's funny how you mentioned that they think that the uh, International Space Station is fake. When in that uh, documentary, Bob Nadal, now this guy debunked himself and now he's still trying to be relevant. So he did a whole speech about the ISS and how it's fake. He gave you all the measurements. He gave you how big it is, how how heavy it is. And he'll tell you that it's fake. And then people in the room actually admitted to seeing it because there's a website you can go to, um, spotmystation.nasa.gov. We can check it and see where the station is going to be so you can look at it. Well, he asked people in the room if any of them have done it. And quite a few have done it. And he was surprised quite a few had done it. And then he's basically telling them that it's fake, but he never tells them what they saw. Well, what did I see if it's fake? And then this guy in the documentary debunks himself. He debunks the entire flat earth theory when he, someone in the group spent $20,000 on a fiber optic gyro, gyroscope. And he thought as soon as he turned this thing on, it was going to be at zero degrees and not the 15 degree tilt that we're supposedly at or that we are at. And when he turned it on, 15 degrees. And he didn't like that. So he tried something else. He tried to put in some sort of vacuum tube. There was no air, whatever. Still, 15 degrees. He debunked himself. He even told somebody later on in some sort of little gathering that, you know, at they he did debunk himself, but he told him that in confidence. So don't tell anybody. Well, you know, these people are funny. These, I mean, well, they're, they're just... Let, like, you, know, you, know, you know what's even ahead, funnier yeah. is that, 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 that watching that documentary, right? Like... Watching that documentary, I didn't really learn a whole lot much more than what what they did is about, uh, rather than th- just the movement, right? But you know, the documentary started out really strong, 
in terms of okay this is going to be something that's kind of that's going to be centered along making you believe that making you switch sides right and just kind of you know make you believe that okay this is really something that's needs to be uh something that you know you can you can jump on and you know but you know towards the end it's really one they started you know creating these these experiments when kind of putting these uh that didn't the, work the tests they're starting to fail and then starting to realize you know they're just coming up with different ideas and experiments just to you know they've they sort of arrived in a conclusion and now they're trying to backpedal and trying to like trying to prove a point that okay what what their conspiracy conspiracy is actually true and and you know anything that they're saying basically they they already made their minds um right oh yeah 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 no matter what like we live in a dome or there's an ice wall around all of the the world so and you, it's illegal when, to visit apparently there's an international law that you can't you go to the can't wall. visit the ice wall yes or i guess the the dome is the best one that we live in a glass dome well the best one is that the sun is local the sun is in the dome it's not whatever you know whatever distance i don't know how far the distance the sun is but it is not the center of the universe. It's actually local. It's in the dome. They actually believe this. Or I don't, you know what, to be honest, I don't know if they believe any of it. I think they just go along with it. Like I said, just to be a part of something. And like somebody had said, the best analogy for it that I heard was flat earthers are like the game whack-a-mole. The more you hit the mole, the more another one will pop up. And then another, the more you hit it, another conspiracy will pop up. Another theory will pop up. No matter how much you debunk it, another one will pop up and then another one and another one and another one. No matter how many, how hard you try to debunk it, it's you're never going to. You can't convince these people otherwise. I you mean, know just what think I, about it. They've been you know, cast you know out. what I dislike about it, like the whole thing that this whole, uh, you know, flat Earth movement versus science type of debate is, you know, just you know, just the science people just kind of in disbelief whenever someone just opens up and say you know, something about ridiculous, you know, something about the ridiculous line of, you know, flat earth. Right. And, and they're just saying like, how dare you come up with such, you know, thing to say, or how, you know, how stupid, you know, such thing to say, you know, like, I just, I just don't see the, the, you know, the benefit of not having that open dialogue in, in terms of, you know, it, instead of just kind of dis, dis, dismissing the other side, why not just, you know, sort of, you know, uh, have a conversation about it and, and talk about why you believe that way and so instead of just saying that, you know, well, what you're saying is just ridiculous. It's just, just you know, there's, there's no way that's possible. You know, just kind of that immediate, uh, uh, you're already, you know, leaning towards your bias and you're not really open to any more, uh, you know. Uh, but that goes both ways. I mean, if you're a flat earther, you're never going to believe the other side when they tell you, well, that's wrong because of this. Well, then I got this to show you. Well, that's wrong, too. Well, then I got this to show you now. Well, that uh, that doesn't add up either. Well, I also have th like it's like Carlos said, if you keep telling them that doesn't sound right, buddy, I got this then to show you next. Like, well, well it's you just, got a lot it's of just things not to a, show me. It's just not a healthy you know, relationship between the two sides. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just, never going to be like. I mean, Julius, what's your final take on flat Earth and? Well, you know? it's as as we know, uh, a human mind can be programmed. A subconscious mind can be programmed, and if somebody repeats to you over and over again, if somebody said you are Jesus Christ and repeated to you every single day for a year or two or three, once your subconscious mind recorded, oh yes, that's what I am. Because your subconscious might record that you believe it. If they tell you the earth is flat over and over, you go to those all those meetings, you even get excited. That's how subconscious mind work. When you go in army or at police, uh, the police department, they yell, they scream. Why they scream? Because that's something unusual and your subconscious might record faster. When you go to those meetings, you get excited. Everybody get excited. That means your subconscious might record a lot faster. It takes 21 days for subconscious mind to record normally something. But when you get excited, like when you get shocked of something, you, you go through a trauma. 
that's over there, that change your life, a trauma or extreme happiness. That means an, it's an enormous either excitement or an enormous, an enormous trauma. That's when you subconscious mind record right away. So people are programmed, not only about flattered, about everything. Our mind can be programmed. We are all programmed, actually, since we are born until we die, we are programmed with everything that's around us. So that's why I'm saying uh, uh, they will, do, once they are convinced of, about that, then they record it, they are programmed that way. You have to deprogram them to prove otherwise. And that's the fight. Because in their mind, like, if I tell you that, you know, when I, uh, I was younger, I created a ball of fire. Everybody rolled their eyes. Everybody looking, oh, this guy, it's, it's crazy. It's a lunatic. It's, but you have to understand how things work, how energy work, how your mind work, and all combined, then you say, oh, yes, now I understand. But you can jump from A to Z. You have to explain people A, B, C, D, and so on until you get to Z. And then there's this, now I understand because you explained me how things work. So these people are programmed. To me, the, the, the biggest thing, as I said, the universe is not turning around the earth. The stars are not turning around, even though they are so far. That automatically make everything to collapse. Like if you, if you go up in space, let's say you go to zero gravity, you go up in space and, and, and station there. And, and that's already been known. And you station there. When you come back straight down, you're going to end up somewhere else. Why? Because Earth is rotating and you end up into another country or into another state. Depends how fast you're going to come back. That's another experiment which can be proven anytime. Go to zero gravity, st station up, and then come straight down uh, the way you went up and guarantee you're going to end up somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. somewhere yeah, exactly. else what I mean because earth is rotating yes and you either end up if you come in a couple hours back you know, or I don't know 10 hours or whatever not 10 hours less than that you end up into another state and if you continue go so you end up into another country so yeah I mean so that's that, that's a good point yeah that's yeah, the easiest yeah. way to prove it go straight up stay there for a couple of hours come back down you're not going to be in the same place you left and that's, that's the biggest, biggest proof can be done to anybody. All this, all this uh, uh, flat earth uh, theorists, when you say, uh, tell them this, okay, we can prove it that way, uh, then, you know, if it's been proven, but uh, as I say, scientists are left of this. Uh, uh, NASA scientists, NASA actually have two branches. NASA have a lower branch. I heard their president speaking and he said, I have to be, be careful what I speak with because we have a, a higher branch we don't have control on. Uh, we don't have no access or control. They are a lot more advanced than we are. And the public don't even know about. I heard their president saying that with his own mouth. So, uh, well, which NASA actually, it's a joke compared to the advanced society. And I, I, I have to explain how they develop and how they end up to be an advanced society. And NASA, it's something minor compared with that, what those guys have today. Well, now, that's, uh, uh, that's, uh, but that's another, uh, that's another, but that's another subject. Yeah. Yeah. I, yes, how, yes. how I, how I learned many things because 17 years ago, I've been approached by a secret society, so-called Illuminatis. Oh, the so, Illuminati. Okay, yes. Yes, I, I, I received a letter which kind of shocked me. Uh, what they wrote in their letter, they said, uh, Julius, we know you better than you know yourself. Uh, we handpick you out of the crowd and it's nowhere to hide. Hold we on, Ju hold, Julius, hold on to that thought. We're going to take a break <laughs> and okay. then we're going to we're going to get right back into that. Keep, you know, try to keep it short and concise, but I do want to hear about the Illuminati that take, I want We're going to, we're going to touch a little bit on um, that. We're going to touch on uh, Mount Shasta. Uh, we're going to touch that's, on. That, that's a big subject. Uh, the inner earth. It's, it's an, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Uh, we're going to get to aliens. Um, we're going to get to chemtrails. We're going to get to the but, Truman but, but please, show. Not we're, 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 see, hey, we're gonna get, we're gonna get not, right to it right to it 
Let, let's just take a it's short not break. Not going to be time enough to talk well, about the subject. Yeah. Well, well, you know what? You don't have to. No deep dive. Just kind of the footnotes. You know, just because, like I said, this is just episode one of conspiracy theories. We'll do numerous ones. So let's take a break. We'll be right back after this on Nerds Talking the podcast. And then we just take a short break. Hey, give me okay. two minutes. We'll be right back. All right. Oh, and then when so we get we'll, back, let's do a quick final thoughts on the flat earth thing, and then we'll move on. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a, just a quick wrap up. If, if anybody has any final thoughts on it, and then we'll do um, um, anything you have, Julius, just, um, you know, just, I don't know, like well, almost I, like. I, I, I just want to briefly say how I was introduced to all the secret societies in the world. Actually. Yeah, what we'll do how is. Been introduced. They have their yeah, own. Yeah. Just. Um, yeah, t- the touch on that and then, uh, you know, touch on that and then we'll like do a couple of topics and then uh, just like just like that. It's not, not as soon as Carlos gets back, we'll continue. And then Dennis will have his Truman Show take. I want to hear that, too. And then, um, you know, it's funny. You guys have a sim- almost similar voice. You and Carlos. It's close. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Interesting. Where are you from? I know Carlos very well. Uh, I'm from Europe, actually, uh, from Romania, but I came in this oh, okay. country 40 years ago, 40, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 40 years ago. And uh, of course, I've been stuck with the accent, <laughs> you know, after a certain age. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah. by Gino, by Gino, uh, uh, I don't even know if I have any Romanian Gino. Uh, my uh, grandmother was German. Oh, okay. Uh, from my so- uh, father's side, my uh, grandfather was uh, Jewish, and oh, from okay. my mother's side, uh, uh, her mother was Hungarian, okay, and her good. father was Jewish again. So, oh, so you? But you're just from Romania. Next. Okay. All right. Yes, All I right. was born over there in Berlin. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Okay, so we'll, here we go. Three, two, and welcome back to Nerds Talking. As we left you, we were talking about flat Earth, which we're gonna have some final thoughts we're going to touch into julius bringing up the illuminati which is always interesting and dennis has a topic of his own the truman show which if you haven't seen the truman show it's a very good movie starring jim carrey and it is kind of a um it's i don't know not really a conspiracy anything really but it's an interesting uh subject matter the movie itself well let's let's uh anybody's final thoughts on the flat earth and then we'll jump to the next topic go ahead carlos if you have any final thoughts on flat earth let them have it well yeah just uh real quick i mean they don't even have a functional map you can't find a functional flat earth map it doesn't exist and they can't even make one that's one problem another thing that disproves their belief is a, something as simple as the lunar eclipse i mean lunar eclipse is when the the earth goes in between the sun and the moon casting a shadow on the moon and it's a round shadow it's not a flat shadow it's not a line it's not you know an oval it's a round shadow so that alone i mean it's i I just don't understand why i don't think science is fact i mean one plus one equals two but i'm sure a lot of them think one plus one equals three but you know it's did you just say it's true sure oh my god i mean that's pretty straightforward that's not really an argument though but thank you Thank you. No, but my take is on it is like I was just saying from the beginning. This is people that wanting to belong to something, and they and they have a strong community. I mean, they have a, well, not, it's a small community, but they have a community they belong to, and they're happy with it. I mean, if I mean, and in the end, ultimately, who does it hurt? Who does it? I mean, does it really bother you if the Earth is flat or round? I mean, who who's it hurt? It doesn't hurt anyone. I mean, as you go about your day, I mean, does it, do you really think about it? I mean, when you're driving down the road, do you really does it really really when you pay your bills and you watch TV, when you go out with your family or friends or hang out, does it really, who does it hurt if what your belief is? Who does it, what does it matter? But see, that's where, like Julia said, it's not, it's, it's, they'll take it to the grave, but they'll also look for the money within it. You know, they'll look for that side of it as well. They're, they're selling, man, you saw in that documentary that they have a convention where they're selling books and, flat earth models and the dome models uh, people are idiots anyway dan that's what you take but what, i mean what do you think about those people that are are just followers i mean they're not like the you know the the main front runners and you know they're not the 
you know the advocates right i mean because how, i think it, they what's 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 what is it for them you well I, you know what they, i think they want to be part of something and i think they enjoy the uh the debate of it i think i, I, I don't think i i don't think i agree with that i mean maybe that's that's part of it i mean a lot of these people are they're losing families they're they're losing they're losing um relationships in the process of of going after what they believe in i mean i don't think it, that's really something that's pleasant right but that's Belong, belo- that's belonging to, belonging to a community and in the process also removing yourself from your you know uh, pulling yourself away from your family and relation uh, tearing out tearing down relationships that's not something that's to to anyone's advantage at that point i mean i don't know the world it, doesn't revolve around them I know, but I mean, it's. it's I don't think. Revol- revol- I, I think it. I think it goes above and beyond being belongingness and you know being part of the community. I think the you know the people that really believes in it believes in it just for that reason and not because you know there's any monetary gains, uh, you know, or being part of that whole community. I don't think there's. I mean, it's really. I think there's nothing else beyond that. Uh, but see, you're talking about the people that just go around and follow the people that are the the leaders of the movement. And that's fine too. I understand that. Like if you and I went to those and thought, oh, this is amusing. And I, yeah, maybe I believe it. I don't know. But I, I found, I, I enjoy it. I'm but more, like but. I said, it, it's, it's a stem. It, it stems from having that ability to just question everything and just not, settle into this okay, underlying idea the that everything with, is the problem with questioning if the earth is round is the is what carlos brought up what what does it lead to who cares if the earth is flat or round it doesn't matter does well i mean sense? even if they prove a point it doesn't really benefit them right i mean it doesn't benefit it's like anyone. aha i you know i got you you know like yes. okay i, I finally prove it like it, it, it doesn't i don't think it's what is it was the end goal really i mean is it Bragging really rights? like to prove is that what the now, end goal is? Like, for instance let's take a conspiracy like like jfk right no nope, you know all that all that like who killed him why for what reason so on and so forth if that came out and people found out it probably would have ramifications but if the earth was flat then okay it's flat you know what i mean but th- that's a that's a different argument though because you're coming from you know that that point where the point of view where people don't really have, you know, any side to that the JFK situation, right? Like they don't have any, uh, you know, I don't think they really have any sides to that to begin with either. You know, you believe that he was shot, or he you believe well, we know he was shot. Well, I know. Not, I mean, it, not... it's just is. I mean, it's just believing that he was shot, and it's just like okay, one just... shooter or two or three, okay. right. and why and what's the reason and so on and so forth. There's a how there's a lot behind it. I, I, I... I know the reason. Oh wait, oh. wait a second, oh, Julius. Oh. Hold on, hold, yeah, hold on. on. Wait a second. <laughs> Where did you get the secret decoder ring, and how do you know this stuff? Okay. Uh, no, one, hold on. One, I want you to explain. You the the, picture, I, I want you to. Exp- yeah. I want you to explain. We're gonna jump the ship real quick, or jump the shark. I want you to explain JFK <laughs> in two minutes. Go. Well. Uh, JFK, JFK was a rebellist against the group which controlled him, which was related to the Masons, related to the Illuminati, related to White Brotherhood, related to many uh, secret societies which form a group. And the, the, the globalists, which I call the globalists, who have intention to control this planet, and that's a long subject. Again, I said from A to Z, you have to explain all that. And he was rebellious for two reasons. First, they didn't want him to send anybody on the moon to find out what's going on over there. That's one one thing. Another thing was that he wants to take power to control the money, the government to to start to, uh, to print the money, not a private corporation to borrow to the government for 30% interest. So that was a big battle over there. So he put put a, put a battle out and for that reason the money was a big deal actually he wants the government to take the power over the money and and to dissolve the federal reserve he he didn't agree with the federal reserve which belonged to rockefellers which again is a private corporation 
So for that reason, they executed him in public as an example, not for the public, as an example for the others who are in those groups as a fear. Look what we're going to do to you if you're not going to obey us. He was punished in public to the, the, the secret societies, to all the people in power, just like Hitler did with uh, executed the people who went against him, all the generals went against him, punished them in the front of the other generals and colonels and so on. So see, look, that's what we're going to do to you if you're not going to obey. So uh, he was rebellious. Now, Donald Trump is kind of on the same seat, but Donald Trump has a very powerful society behind him, which people don't know this. They said, oh, we're going to kill him. I said, go ahead. But we're going to tell the public anything that you did against this society. Because what Hitler did against this society, it's nothing compared with the, this society's did towards humanity. So, but that's another subject. They are, they are long subjects. And uh, that's why nobody ever approached Donald Trump to, well, they try on the smaller groups to uh, approach him and to, uh, you know, uh, it was a guy who attacked him or so on. But that's, that's nothing. Uh, it's very easy to kill somebody today with a scope gun. You put 100 guys out, every movement that you see uh, from far away with this uh, advanced uh, technology that we have, they have uh, uh, guns with the scopes which can go very far. So it's very easy to kill somebody if you want to. Okay, but there was another there, there was another deal over there. But down, is so but is there. the Earth round? In my opinion, yes. There we go. All right, now, we got now, now 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 now. Let me uh, very short, very short. What I want to say: there are a few categories of people. I can categorize. They are super masterminds. They are masterminds. They are leaders. They are followers, and they are absolute dummies. So there are many categories of, of people, and this, uh, uh, let's say, leaders or, or masterminds, there is one who tried to attract other people, the followers. The followers follow. They don't ask too many questions. We trust this guy. We believe what he said. They are a type of, and 80% of this planet are followers. And only 20% are the leader type, masterminds, or super masterminds. That, that's the classification which, in my opinion, I give out. And that's why people joined. People joined. If, if you guys want to open a movement, a new religion, let's say, you want to open a new religion, believe me, in a couple of years, you're going to have a bunch of followers. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. And, I mean, you're, look gonna at make, all, and, yeah. and, and you're going to make lots of money, too. Oh, I mean, that's the idea. That's <laughs> I, I have it planned already. I have it planned already. So I, well, like, this, I like this idea yeah, already. But, this but there are thousands of religions out there already. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's okay. A thousand and one is not going to hurt. You know? Fantastic. All right. Well, you know what? We'll take another break real here, real quick. We'll be right back. We know that, um, you know, the earth is around and uh, we don't have Well, any... wait. I just want, I just want to say one okay, thing. Okay, um, I want to hear just, it. Just, fi just my closing statement. Okay, um, go for it. So, yeah, I mean... Like, like you said, like, you know, there's 80% of the population's followers. So the only, the only thing that you can really trust is, is really yourself, right? Like you, you can't really trust anything at this point. Like the only thing that you can do is just kind of do the whole research for yourself. Uh, you know, just don't follow anything. Just, just open up your eyes, just, you know, read as much as you can and, you know, just don't listen to anything. Just, just trust that what, you, what you get is, is, you know, the most accurate information out there well but that's that's a tough sell because there's you can look up one topic and there can be a million different takes on right and, topic, and make so. and make a decision for yourself and and you know live with that decision i mean just don't buy into any any you know trend or whatever so, is you know being put it out took there me, it took what? me about sev 17 years to get a big picture because as i said people live in a small bubbles they have their own life. They are so busy with their own life. They are so preoccupied. Go to the store, go to the job, come back, pay bills, uh, talk to your wife, take care of your child, go to the doctor, go have a little fun, watch a football game. All your time is being taken away. You never have time to think what else is out there, who I am, what I am, why I'm here, where I'm going, where I come from, uh, what it's especially what's out there. People don't think too much about that. 
And if someone and, and walks up to me, speaking. and someone walks up to me someday and say, "Hey, I've proven that the, the Earth is flat," and I'd be like, "You know what? I knew it." Wait, you would say that? I knew it. it was, wow. You know, I'm not. I won't be surprised because I'm. I remain neutral myself. But see what you uh, just sure said. You do. What I, you I just remain, said. But what you just said. If someone walks up to you and tells you the Earth is flat, they, they prove. They, they, no, no. They, and, they, and they prove up, it. And they prove it. Come on, some you. some experiment, and and okay. they say, hey, you know, we're proving it. Now, you know, now, I'm gonna, guys, now, the science people are just dumb. And okay, now I'm gonna take idiots, your own. Right? I'm gonna take your own. And I'd be like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take job. your own words against you when you just said, oh, if you do your own research, just just believe the believe what no, you know. But I mean, know. what I'm saying is just being open minded about it. I'm not I'm well, not what taking, I'm trying to tell you. Is I'm not, if you I'm not taking a, any I'm not taking have, any size. I'm just saying like you have 100 people and 95 tell you the earth is round and five tell you, no, it's flat. Which would which side will you take? I don't the 95 I'm not gonna or go, the five. I, I don't. I mean, I'm leaning towards the science side because that's okay, what I'm trying to tell you is scientists. Ninety five scientists tell you it's round and five tell you it's flat. And the five are just drunk people that fell out of a bar. They don't even are they're not real scientists. And the other ninety five so are real it, scientists. It's, it's really it's 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 just you saying that. It's like it's it's so apparent and it's so obvious that it is know, very obvious. I mean, it is. I mean unless you've been in the space or you've been, you've done this experiment with, you know, I mean, yourself, I mean, it, it's like saying like, it, it's like, it's like saying like, you know, it's like, look at the sun. It's, it's like living on a faith, right? Like saying like, Oh God is, is real. But that's different. That's completely no, but, different. No, but because, that's exactly what you believe in. It's, it's no, saying like, because God, what, is, what I've been taught in school is, is really the the only way is the right way. No, and it's, it's a see, fact that, but that you can't compare religion to, to, no, but, but anything it, because religion it's is like primarily, saying that it's a fact yeah. without really witnessing yourself that it's real i mean obviously it's to our naked eyes it's it's it is what it is right but i mean have we really gone beyond and, and done experience? okay so this is this is how we're going to end this segment three people in this podcast think the earth is round one thinks it's flat but not but maybe it I'm is i'm not a flat it's earther flat. just just it's a, so just, he's just not to clear, sure just to clear it up i'm not a flat earther all I'm i not. know is you just you're confusing the audience oh it's okay <laughs> we'll be right back after this julius will tell us how the illuminati contacted him because that's a wild story and dennis is gonna tell us the truman show what is that about right here on nerds talking the podcast all right, so uh, we're going to touch on uh, Julius's Illuminati venture. And then um, he's going to give us just a quick synopsis on Mount Shasta, because I've looked that up. Um, aliens, if you guys have just thoughts on aliens in general. I mean, we don't have to cover all that. In well, we're only going to we're only going to be I like, mean, a, like, let's do try to squeeze the whole globalist minutes. thing is, is no, we're not doing global. No, global issue. issue too. No, no. We, I just want to hear Julius's story. He doesn't have to tell us about the Illuminati. I just want to hear the story. Forget the guy. It's a good Julius? story. Yeah, Julius, you don't have to tell yes, me yes. about. Yes. Yeah, you don't have to tell us yes, about yes. Illuminati. That'll be something different. And that's Part pretty much two. it. We'll do like 15 minutes and then we'll wrap it up. So here we go. Three, two, one. Welcome back to Nerds Talking, the podcast. We left you with uh, a, a, just a wild take that, that Dennis thinks the earth is flat. And... <laughs> And right, Dennis? Nah, he doesn't think it's flat. He just thinks it's kind of flat, maybe square, could be could be triangles. We don't know yet. We'll figure it out later. But we do know that Julius, our guest, has a very good story to tell. It's very interesting about the Illuminati and how they contacted him. Um, but I'm not, I, I don't know, know much about it, and I would love to hear it. So, Julius, give me a five-minute breakdown on the Illuminati, how they contacted you, and how that led to and why. New, yeah, uh, why well, and, and how it just led to a whole new world for you. Okay. They, uh, they might going to listen to us. Uh, they were watching me, actually, and uh, anytime when I talk to Matt, we talk interesting subjects. Uh, we've been cut off almost every single time. I changed their name and I called them the Golden Poodles because uh, <laughs> they would they would Love break it. down if their master would uh, make a mess on the floor. 
they would uh, uh, lick that uh, uh, right away, just like little golden poodles. They, if the master said, lick my feet, that's what they would do. And their master was, they call it Lucifer. So what I learned that Lucifer and the devil, they are two different entities, which uh, again, I don't know, but that's what I learned. And uh, uh, they believe in, if they exist or not, they believe in and they follow their belief. So, uh, but Illuminati is it's a bit more complex. Also, but I know what I learned. I just about. would love to know but, how well, they anyway, let get, me got a hold short. of you. Yeah, yes, let, let, yeah, yes. Let me tell you short. I received about sixteen or seventeen years ago. I received a letter, and when I opened this letter, I was kind of uh, something new. Uh, a new information came to me. And they, they, they told me, okay, we are very powerful people. We are involved in news. We are involved in television. We're involved in the highest businesses in the world. If you join us, you're going to be very rich and, and famous. So they said, we pick you out of the crowd, handpick, and uh, uh, we want you to join us. So uh, I agree. I, you know, I sign whatever they ask me to sign. And what they did, they start to program me. So what they did, they sent me a big book. It was a, a, probably if you uh, take normal books, like three books or four books put together. And in that book, they, uh, they said, Bleak Legacy, Bleak and Sons, and my sons. They didn't put the, the daughters, but the sons. And I know why, because the, uh, they are related with the Masons. The, the Masons are like their... Uh, I don't know how to put it. The Masons are involved pretty much in everything, all down to the kindergarten, schools, kindergarten, government, you name it. Uh, and uh, they, are, they have certain levels. But anyway, and I started reading that book. And in that book, I learned that they tried to brainwash me. They said, there are no aliens, there are no mysticism. Uh, it's just us. And you have to grab, you have to take, and they try to educate me how to do business, a uh, uh, lot of mathematics. I mean, it was so much to read and so complicated. That was a, a really hard book to, uh, uh, to learn. It, it, it was a really tough book. You had to be really educated or to put really, uh, uh, your mind into it. And then I got uh, uh, a lady who came to be as uh-oh. Uh-oh. See? Uh -oh, got cut we off. Dropped. He spoke yep. too much of the Illuminati book. And they cut him off. I think they which, grabbed them. Which is on yeah. Amazon oh, called Illuminati, my. the Secret Society that Hijacked the World. Paperback. He crossed the line. June 13th. He crossed oh, the line. wait. He's back. back. Julius. I think. Julius. Wait. Give it a Did second. they nab you? Who got you? Was it the Rockefellers, George Soros, the Koch brothers? Who got you? Rothschild. Well, when he comes, if he comes He'll back, we will. We'll All right, Dennis, up you're up. Off. Let's hear this. Dennis, Truman let's thing. Uh, go well, with what, the Truman Show. Which part um, do you want to hear? Well, I want to know what, because uh, Carlos told me that you had something about the Truman Show you want to talk about. What was it about the Truman Show you wanted to talk about? Well, every time yeah. you bring up Flat Earth, he's got some sort of Truman Show analogy. A, so let's hear it. I can just do a parallel a bit. You know, it's just a whole parallel with that movie and you know the whole flat earth earthers right i mean it's just being uh not being able confined to that idea that you know we are in this you know this universe with you know with the earth and you know everything that's been you know set up for us i think it's their, their idea is more leaning towards that you know it's we're whole we're all living in a whole, you know, like Hollywood backdrop, you know, like, you know, everything that, you know, everything that's happening, you know, you know, it's happening uh, within our lives. It's basically a setup and, you know, everything is just, you know, they're making us believe that everything is just happening and, you know, and we should just play along with what, you know, what's, what's been set up for us. And I think the whole movement is just, you know, it's just ha have a lot of parallel with that movie as far as questioning everything and just the idea of uh, not just the flat earth itself, but just, you know, just the general idea of just questioning everything that's happening. And I mean, can't you say the same thing about the Matrix? You can. 
Uh, I mean, the, the difference between a movie like The Matrix and Truman Show is Truman Show is a reality show. I understand your take on it, but it's a reality show about somebody that they control since birth to create a television show, basically. I mean, they created a television show and then they created all the false narratives around him to create storylines to build Truman Show up. And, and you know, Truman Show is just one angle, right? I mean, you can you can talk about it in, in different ways different contexts like the matrix like is like you mentioned i mean truman show is just one way of looking about it i mean there's there could be hundreds of ways of you know the setup and how everything is you know being manipulated and controlled and i mean you, you can look at it in different the, the ways thing really. the thing is this thing is it's kind of like saying everything in your life that you've achieved was controlled by someone else leading you down that path to where you are today i don't believe that's in what, that but you know who, no, who knows? But that's what the truman show is the truman that's show like religion is religion to me well that's what the truman show is the truman show is when he starts realizing certain things they're like oh crap how can we behind the scenes try to fix this and correct that and do that put this character here try to try to make him go this way oh get him a new girlfriend like mm-hmm. they can control everything i mean yeah that no i mean that that i mean when did when did he start questioning stuff anyways that you know i mean everything was just kind of happening the same way every day right for for years and years was what i'm Um, saying and he started questioning things because things started uh things started uh i forgot which part of the movie it was i've seen the movie a couple times anyway because things weren't normal as they usually were you know like yes everything was was off off. something was was, and then he was like this isn't right what's going on um wait hold on julius are you back no, he's not here. Uh, I can see you guys. I don't know. Do I am? I am back. You are. You can, you're you back. Can... Yes, you are back. What happened? Fill me in. Well, uh, I just been cut off. I don't know why. Either it's a connection problem or either I've been cut off because, honest to be, uh, I received a letter one time and uh, I've been told that, uh, you know, that we are watching you. So I say, yes, I know. So what? So, uh, Many times, as I said, when I speak with a friend of mine on the phone, we being cut off almost every single time. Oh, when wow. we say something that's uh, not likable to them, then we being cut off right away, and we are laughing about. We go back again and talk, and when we go for a, a you know uh, talk again, something unpleasant to them, then we being cut off again. That's came up something so usual to us. So, but mm-hmm. anyway, it's childish, but that's okay. That's what they do. It's fine. But uh, where I was, I was uh, about that book that I received. You guys can hear me. Yeah, I was going to ask you, does the book Hello? have a title or is it, it's just a book? Like a, no, no, no title. It's just a just a blank. It cover. was uh, no, no, on the book was that uh, Bleak Legacy, uh, Bleak and Sons, actually, Bleak and Sons Legacy. So legacy, that means I was part of their society and they start to groom you. They start to prepare you to get into their society. In other words, you have to accept them. And if you don't accept them, you're never going to meet them physically. So they are around you. They are watching you. They are educating you. But if you don't accept them, if you don't go with their teaching and you don't go further, you're never going to step through their door. Gotcha. But once you step through their door, you have to go through certain rituals. And once you do those rituals, you belong to them. You have the privileges that, the privileges that they give you. But then also you have to do anything they tell you to do. And in general, in those societies, people are controlled by fear. You don't do what we tell you to do, then you got punished. And if you stubborn, you know, for a long period of time, uh, either, uh, you know, some people end up being killed, actually. Uh, There are many cases, I know cases, uh but uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um... And and, and then then that's that's what opened my mind. They put a spark. They put a spark out. I said, wait a minute. That it's a lot more than I thought. And then I start to dig, I start to study, I start to learn, I start to get information from anywhere I could. And I end up in, I would say about 13, 14 years with about 2000 letters home, 2000 letters from all over the world. 
that was asking myself, why do I receive so many letters from everywhere, actually, Europe, uh, uh, Canada, uh, New Zealand, uh, Australia, uh, from everywhere, Euro Europe, uh, from uh, United States, uh, uh, you know, you name it, uh, e e including China, Israel, China, from monks from China. So what happened, I got into their network. They have a secret network. Once your name up, come, there, uh, uh, come up there, everybody pick on you. Oh, who's this guy? Let's study his uh, profile. Oh, we like his profile. Okay, this guy can be modeled the way we want. Uh, we can use him in more, more many areas because follow human behavior again. It's uh, use, abuse, and dispose. So I have some value to them because they want to use me. Then, of course, abuse me, working for them, and dispose when they don't need me. And, of course, throw me a bone like a million dollar, two million dollar, whatever, three, ten. Uh, depends how far you want to go. So pretty much that's how translated this would be. And I Got never it. fall for it because I knew what's on the other side. So basically... I, 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 I have a... Um, you 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 got the you got the initial letter you got a cut you got an invite more or less uh, yeah yes and yes but you, not one time i've been invited not only to illuminatis mm -hmm. i've been invited to many many societies i got letters from presidents of corporations i got letters from presidents of uh, secret societies i got letters from fbi i got letters from cia i got uh, letters from uh, from sensitives from sensitive, but that's another subject, from the president of uh, sensitives on the entire world, which is Mr. Duplier, his name. I corresponded with him in uh, many letters. I want to meet him personally, but he said, in a moment when you're going to meet me, you're going to be dead because other spy from other countries is going to see you. They're going to kill you right away. They don't want no competition. So if we meet, we have to meet in secret, but you have to be prepared to meet me first. So uh, it was, I got many, many, I got letters from scientists. I got letters from monks. I got letters from priests. I got letters from, uh, you name it. Uh, I mean, it, and, and the things get even more interesting. Well, I guess they become my, my, more aggressive. My question I got is. I from, um, uh, uh, not letters, uh, my, or, well, for, for, well, my question to you is, why do you think they picked you out? Well, uh, they measure people in two ways. <clears throat> they go by Gino line. I, I must have a, a Gino that they like. Uh, uh, you know, most of us actually have uh, uh, 22 type of genos in our body. And that's called uh, 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 Elian Gino. Uh, and so when we talk about 3% Gino and they talk about junk DNA, that's not junk DNA. That's Elian DNA. But that's a long history to go back and explain what and how. And that's, you have to have all those, that's one. You have to have also royal blood. They like the royal blood. People don't know what royal blood is. Royal blood is not that pleasant as people think. It's kind of, in my opinion, disgusting. Uh, so each one of us, uh, like you have 2%, 3%, 5%, 20, 30, 40, uh, 50%. So once you pass 50%, weird things are happening. But uh, I must have some uh, royal blood from Europe and uh, be related. That's that's one thing. Uh, when uh, Rockefeller sent me a letter, Joseph Rockefeller, which I showed to Carlos, actually, he said, I believe it when I see it. So, okay, there you go. I show him the letter. Did they ask you for a mini money? I said, no, they didn't. They asked me to join them and they offered me $450,000. They said, we take the money out of the, the, the Federal Reserve because they own the Federal Reserve. We give you that as a down payment. Once you come and you go through the ceremony that you have to go, which is the Mason ceremony, which that's another story, uh, then you belong to them and then they uh, get you in a higher position and then they try to make you a multimillionaire or a billionaire. They promise me we're not going to make you only a millionaire, we're going to make you a billionaire. So, so why, why would you, why, why didn't you, why didn't you go for that one? I tell you why. Uh, <clears throat> there are two forces. Uh, 
there are two forces. If you believe in religion, if you believe in God or not, or there are two forces. They are in us, actually. We do good and bad. People choose to do good or bad. That means you have a dark side, you have a good side or light side. Each person is human. So there are these two forces, which are positive and negative, just like the electrical power. They run parallel, but they are not the same. So uh, th these people believe, I know their beliefs. Some of them are Luciferians. As I said, if Lucifer exists or not, they believe and they follow their beliefs. Some of them are sa satanics, which again, they follow the satanism. And that's another subject which you have to explain who they are, what they do, what they, uh, how they believe uh, and how they uh, uh, pursued in this world in their belief and what they do. And also they are Zionists. Uh, they, they come from some uh, Hebrew Zionists uh, which they believe in, uh, uh, again, uh, they are Luciferians, but then also they are some who believe in a dark, just in a dark mare, in a dark power. They don't yeah, believe yeah, that yeah. anything exists but the dark power, and they choose to... to I, I even saw one time a show on TV, a priestess who, with her husband who were part of the wolf society, so-called. She was the high priestess. Now, she contacted me, actually, sent me a letter with other two priestesses, which they got their ceremony, and they sent me a letter to correspond with them. And I saw her, actually, it was very amazing. I saw her on TV, and then I saw her on YouTube, but then she sent me a letter without me ever looking for her. And two other uh, priestesses, which they have a role, they have a role, they are being used by Illuminati, they have a role. Uh, and that's another subject. But uh, uh, what I want to say, they, because uh, I, I jumped to another subject over here. And, well, and, I, and I guess, I, I, Mike, I mean, are they still contacting you till this day? I mean, when's the last time you heard from any of well, these people? They, 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 they are kind of mad at me. They are my, uh -oh. okay, whoa, why whoa, whoa. I rejected them? Why are them? they mad at you? Why, what, what's going on? Well, what happened? Okay, I, I rejected them because they are on the dark side. They are not people who are. That you want to be affiliated with. Well, it doesn't matter about the money. Uh, I was one foot in, one foot in, and I pulled out. I said, okay, this is a danger zone. Anytime, uh, okay. I am an open-minded person and I would like to go for more, almost everything. But when you get, you know, that say, when you get too close to the fire, you better back up not to get burned. So uh, we, okay, how can I get to this? Cause, cause it's a big picture. And to explain the big picture, there are many puzzles to put together. It's a lot to explain. Uh, oh gosh, okay. Uh, Okay, I Illuminati was actually created since 17 centuries. I, I knew the name of the guy. You can't find him on 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 uh, on uh, anywhere now on 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 Google. There's there's no secret anymore. I mean, it's no secret. They they, they were created in seven centuries. They created uh, the French Revolution. Uh, they created the First War, Second War. Uh, problems in other countries, um, and it's not Illuminati. It's only one of the branches. Illuminati is not the biggest branch. It's only one of the branches. White Brotherhood. It's actually the big, big branch, which, which is on the top of the pyramid. A White Brotherhood. It's a very old society since Babylonian time. Have they contacted you? Uh, yes, they Good contacted Lord, man. me. You well. are you are more popular than Justin Bieber. You are. Good Lord, you are well, 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 it, it, um, believe me, uh, I don't no, feel I want, myself. I mean, more my thing, I mean, any person, Go I ahead. mean, you, you've been contacted by a lot of people. My question is. I mean, it seems like you almost have options. You can pick all these groups to go with. Uh, my question would be for you is it has there been a group that's contacted you where I guess you were like, yeah, I'll join you. I mean, or you just don't want any part of it at all like you're just this is too this this is too not that you don't believe it it's not as too far-fetched it's too um i guess i would say take you away from what your your comfort zone or your normal life that you want to you know you rather live or well, 
Well, I tell you, I was really uncomfortable. I, I received, uh, I was driving from San Francisco home uh, to Golden Gate Bridge, actually, I was. And I received a very weird re email. A female contacted me and he said, how are you? You're supposed to be my twin flame. I, if everybody knows what twi twin flame is, and I'm not going to get into that subject, it's only one twin flame, uh, uh, flame for a man and one for a woman. Uh, soulmates can be many. Uh, any one of you can be a soulmate. Or either it's a woman or a man. That not means you have to get married. It's the soul, actually. It's a soulmate. Yep. A soulmate, it's a big soul which is divided in more many bodies. That's I, I tell you the theory of the soulmate and the, and the twin flame. Twin, twin flame, it's only one. So anyway, she that, she told me, I, I'm supposed to be your twin flame. I say, who are you? She said, I'm supposed to be your girlfriend. I'm supposed to be your wife, but I'm not. I said, why not? She said, because I, I belong to Copenhagen. I said, who's this guy? He said, he's the, the owner of Starbucks. He's your buddy. I said, what are you talking about? I don't know him. I don't know who the, this guy is. And he said, he's the owner of Starbucks. And they, they believe in past lives and they talk about past lives. And they said, you always been the leader and he always been second after you. Now he wants to be the leader and you to be second. I said, what else do you guys want from me? We want you to come to Switzerland, to the Black Castle. We have a big meeting over there. And we want to initiate you and give you an honor or whatever. I said, guys, Wait, I don't so, have time for this. So, so you almost yeah. went to that one or were you close? Was no, it your moment? No, I've been invited. I, I've been invited to go. And gotcha. then, then I, I start to rec I receive a, a text. I thought in the beginning there were some children were playing because, you know, when I was texted actually for the first time was not on the Golden Gate. Uh, I was texted by a group of people and I asked them, who are you guys? They say, we are the dark. Oh, I think he accidentally muted himself. We'll have to. Oh, wait, uh, Julius, are you back? Are you there? Yes, I'm back. I'm back. Somebody you know what? There's, anyway. there's there's one one more thing I wanted to touch on uh, because we have to we're gonna have to get back to this. This is this is okay. uh, this is part four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. Uh, Carlos has told me very interesting news that you are a telepath. Uh, well, I, I tell you how I develop telepathy. Every human, you are a telepath as well. Animals are telepath. Every human born on this planet. And every animal, every existing living thing, it's a telepath. Dennis, are you a the telepath? The reason why everybody is a telepath, you just have to practice and exercise. So how I develop telepathy, I have to practice actually. Uh, but it's an even interesting story. I went to Washington all the way to meet uh, this native Indian and he tested me. He, but in that time I was more... Uh, 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 I was practicing more than now for I don't know how many years I didn't practice, but I have some experiences. So uh, I don't know how much time we, we have, but because we jumped um, a lot of subjects. You know what? But, I was, uh, I'll, let's what just, I say, a minute. Go, go, if you can cover yeah. it in like two minutes, just go full force. Okay. I received a CD, 14 CDs actually. It's called Your Wish. It's your command. Your wish, it's your command. So I ordered those CDs. It's a call from Global Network Information, the new Illuminati, which some people, billionaires, 40 billionaires, break out of the old uh, Illuminati. They didn't want to go against the public, against the society. They formed their own circle. They tried to educate people the real truth, how things work for real. And those people contacted me as well. They invited me on a boat on Caribbean, uh, not Caribbeans, where were, no, actually in Caribbeans, uh, for free. Uh, one of those was Kevin Trudeau, if you guys heard about him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Was, uh, uh, what's his name? The other guy he was a psychic. Uh, he got a TV show in the 60s. Uh, uh, I can't remember his name, but anyway, he was famous in that time. If I remember later, I'll let you know, but uh, uh, very short. So I was learning on the CDs, uh, uh, about Carnegie Ford, uh, they were talking about Einstein, they were talking about science, they were talking about White Brotherhood, they all belong to them. 
uh, and they uh, uh, teach people how your mind works. It's a, a, a receiver and transmitter better than the radio waves. It's more powerful than the radio waves. Can go any direction, it can go in space, can go through Earth. You can contact any human anytime, anywhere you want. So once I learned this, I said, let's experiment this. And I focus and I start to send powerful transmissions. Well, how transmissions work? First, you have to believe it. If you don't believe, that means negative. If you believe, that means the do, the positive. That means you can do it. You have the door open. You have to have the picture in your mind, what you want to transmit. And also, you have to have the feeling, the powerful feeling, the emotion. You combine this three, you can do anything you want. And I send powerful transmissions out. Whatever I was picturing that that mind that far away, far away uh, to an alien world and, and uh, uh, around the globe and so on. And guess what? After a couple of days, after about four days, I receive a letter. We caught your transmission. We don't know how you do it, but you we know that you do it and you know that you do it. And the reason we contact you for your ability that you are more advanced than our expert wants. You catch a lot bigger radial than our expert wants and you are only in the infant stage and we wanna train you. So they send me uh, the, all the scientists, they got a big uh, kind of moon shape uh, uh, tube. And, and uh, that was a device that they said they can catch transmissions. He, they said, also, we have our psychics or our telepathics who can catch your transmissions as well in their minds. And we try to decode your thoughts. Okay, I said, okay, maybe this is some kind of uh, accident. I said, whatever. You know, I didn't believe it. I said, that's fine. Uh, so I waited another week. I did another transmission for, I don't know, half an hour or so. Because it, it takes over two minutes and a half to be able to do a transmission. If you do a thunder, then I'm not going to go out. It passed two minutes and a half to be able to do a transmission. So anyway, I did it again. I received a letter after about four days again. We caught your transmission again. And then they start to introduce them, uh, the, their director, uh, members, and so on. They show me their pictures, their name. We want you to, because of your capability, to, to be part of our society. Well, I didn't respond. Again, I did another transmission. They sent me a letter again. I said, well, this is not accidental. This something is going on over here. And they sent me a letter insisting that they want to train me. They want to meet me and so on. And then I didn't respond right away because I am a busy guy. I was a busy guy. I didn't talk it really serious. But then I received a letter from their president, which was Mr. Duplier. I don't know the other name. He said, I work... Uh, beyond CIA, I am a trainer. I am the highest telepath in the world. I got in your mind and I know your thoughts, he said. Well, that's called mind melting, which I learned later on. All the psychics, they send me some advanced ones, very advanced ones. You don't even know about them. They say, I can melt, mind melt with you, which all humans telepathically, you can mind melt with other people because your mind is receiver and transmis uh, 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 transmitter. And then, I, okay, I again, I told you what he told me if we met and so and so. But he, he told me, I want you to, if you want me to train you, I want you to give me your body and soul. And that kind of was insultive to me. I didn't accept that. I kind of got angry. Uh, I, I'm not going to give you my body and soul. You know, that was probably an expression. So we leave it to that. But I start to experiment, actually, the, the, the tel telepathy. It wasn't enough that I just received some letters. They said they caught my transmissions, which I did for real. I said, let's experiment that. And uh, I was driving. I learned how to uh, connect the, the two atmospheres of the brains, left and right. Once you connect the, the, the left and right, uh, one is the one when you sleep, and the other one is the conscious mind when you're awake. So one is the subconscious mind and the other one is sorry. when you connect the two, you get into a kind of a, a sleepy mode. You half asleep, half awake. So I was driving to San Francisco and I was kind of like half asleep. I wasn't blinking my eyes. I said, how come I don't blink my eyes? Yeah, why not? And uh, I, I, I didn't have to move. I was uh, the fear disappeared. No fear. 
the belief increase. You don't have no doubt because the subconscious mm. mind don't have no judgment. Ah. So it was like half and half. Anyway, story short, I went to San Francisco to do a job, <laughs> to do a kitchen, which Phil, if you uh, you know Phil, uh, the, the guy, it's a cop now. Uh, oh, Phil, yeah. Uh-huh. And I got another guy. on. Anyway, but 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 the, the thing is this. I don't know if we have time for this. Do we have time for this? Uh, we're about to wrap up. So um, what we're about to wrap up. But you know what? We're going to pick this up. Uh, definitely, Carlos is going to have to bring you back on because I want to hear more. I want to hear about Mount Shasta. I want to hear about your take on aliens. I want to hear... I want to hear more about telepathy. I want to hear it all, man. I want to hear, I hear the, the whole globalist thing. Man, I, yeah, we're gonna we, we're definitely gonna Mount, come Mount back Jasta. on. Oh no, don't Mount no, Jasta don't don't go mass subject. don't go mount chat. Not no, save it for later. Save it for next time. I want yes, everyone, yes. I want everyone to YouTube if you're listening, the hidden city in Mount Shasta, but don't believe anything you hear on YouTube until Julius tells you the truth next time we have him on here. But yeah, that's great. So we'll take a break. We'll be right back after this on Nerds Talking, the podcast. Thanks, Julius, for stopping by. And I'm telling you, good times, everyone. Good times. And Thank Julius, you. probably, he, if you don't know, Julius has sent you a message. He just sent you a message, and he's going to tell you to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and download this podcast here on Nerds Talking Podcast. Thank you. Good stuff, Julius. Thank thanks. you. Yeah, thanks, We're definitely going to do a part two and a part three for sure. What happened? Are you on mute? Did you mute yourself? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm sure he'll call me. What do you want to do? Do you want to do a uh, we'll quick final wrap up thing? About recommendations? Or... Yeah, yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's it. And then I only have one this week. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. No, if everybody just has one, it's it's fine. Keep it short. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Welcome back to Nurse Talking the Podcast. We've filled you in with a lot of stuff this week. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Totally forgot about that. But I sent you through my mind. So you should have already got it like a week ago. So it's okay. But um Dennis. I know we left you with the Truman Show thing. I don't know if you have anything more on that before we get out of here. Um, did you have any more? Did you have any take on J- Julius's um, what he was going on about? Or no, I mean I want to hear more about it. I mean I think he th- this could be part of the you know a bigger conversation. I think. We oh can, oh my goodness! Yes. We can dive deeper into each one of these things that he I brought mean, in. We about. can go way into yeah. it. I mean, so I'm gonna hear. I'm, I'm I'm really interested in. Julius needs to write a book about all the letters he's got, <laughs> the people that's contacted him, societies that want. I mean, he's a very important person. I don't know, Carlos, how you work with this individual. He sounds like he's more important than just about anybody you will ever meet in your life. Uh, yeah. From what I hear and from what I've, um, stories I've been told, uh, it's. I mean, every day. I ask him why not just take the money and you know join one of these one of these he groups. He but he's why. got he has morals. But well no, just wait till next time. I mean it's it has a lot to do with um yeah, his morals. Yeah, he's I mean he'd rather be happy than controlled rich and have mm-hmm. his have no soul. But yeah, Pretty much definitely yep. we'll do a part two to this for sure, if not a three and a four, because I mean, Julius is an interesting fella, and he's got some great stuff to talk Wait, about. Wait, I have a question for you. You saw this letter he got from the Rockefeller? I may have. He showed me a bunch of letters. Oh, uh, okay. So you've seen a lot of letters. I've seen I've seen quite a few. I actually took pictures of some of them so I could read them. I okay. just haven't gotten to them yet. Cause... How'd you, have you not gotten to reading these things? Because they should know that I have them, and why they're not contacting me, I have no idea. Well, because you're stupid. And he has like it. alien slash Thank like you. like you know king DNA or something, and you don't got that. Okay, your DNA is not. that of a peasant and probably like a lizard, a peon. Okay, god damn you. Anyway, Dennis, anything on Truman Show before we uh, go to our Netflix or Hulu recommendations, or you just like F Truman Show, watch Liar Liar. No, no I mean that's about it. I mean, I okay, I like else. it. <laughs> That's good. All right, let's move on to our recommendations for the week for Thanksgiving week. 
So, Carlos, you start off with your recommendation, streaming recommendation for everybody to tune into this week. Well, all I've got, I just have one recommendation. It's something that was actually on Fox for seven seasons. And uh, <clears throat> I, I mean, I knew it was on. I just never knew what day it was on. I caught a couple of episodes, not full episodes, just a couple of minutes here and there. But now that it's on Netflix, I've been watching it. And it's a lot of laugh out loud funny. It's uh, The New Girl. Now that is a funny show. If you get a chance, check it out. All seven seasons are on Netflix. That's my recommendation for the Thanksgiving weekend. You have four days. Most of us have four days. Uh, binge watch it. Good stuff. And Dennis, what do you have for me this week? Um, I got I got a couple. Um, All right. There's one called Evil on oh, Netflix. Yeah. That's a good I, one. Have you mm-hmm. seen that one? I have. That's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's about the girl that's trying to determine whether that person is possessed or just a bogus right type of yep. case mm-hmm. and the other one is uh star girl star oh yeah star girl on it's cw a, it's, yes. a, it's a dc right yep. in dc mm-hmm. yeah so That's start, a very just, good one just started watching that one so there you go yep and i have one on hbo max it's the fresh prince of bel-air reunion show it's actually pretty good they kind of give you all the ins and outs of the show and why they changed Aunt Viv after season one and so on and so forth and why this cast member didn't work out so well. And it's pretty good. You'll enjoy it. If you enjoyed Fresh Prince of Bel-Air like I did growing up, tune into HBO Max's reunion of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Matter of fact, they have a reunion of Friends coming up in January. That should be good, too. I always enjoyed Friends. It was a, it was a good show. So check that out, and that's pretty much all we have. You guys have anything else before we uh, vacate for this week's episode? Dennis, anything? Nope. No, I'm good. All good right, stuff. everybody's good. Everybody, go ahead and check out the website. we got a bunch of new video game reviews. We have some movies coming up. We have some reviews for uh, the Mel Gibson movie Fat Man. I think Carlos is going to cover that one. By the time you hear this, it might already yeah. be up. And the new Mel, no, the new Nicolas Cage movie called Jiu Jitsu. We're going to definitely cover that because Nick Cage is a hoot. He's not Julius, but he's a hoot. So thanks for tuning in here to Nerds Talking the Podcast. We'll see you next time. All righty. Boys. Hey, is he gone? That was lengthy. Is he still there? Uh, it's gonna be. Question. Oh, by I know the time I there. edit it, Parts it's gonna it. be like an hour, fifteen minutes, though. And the soccer one is an hour and twenty minutes, so it's really not that much longer than that. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Sounds because good. Dennis, Did because that go Dennis, or is it that next week? No, he's still, still on. Still he's on. on. He's just, no video or. Uh, yeah. What do you call it? Uh, Dennis didn't. Oh, there he goes. Dennis didn't come on until what, like nine fifteen. Nine, yeah, nine fifteen, yeah. nine twenty. So the first so twenty you minutes. Think is about just it. Garbage. We only we're only at ten thirty eight. So we only have an hour and uh, fifteen hour and ten minutes. minutes with all the music added on and cutting some stuff and da 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 da. It's only gonna be like an hour and fifteen minutes. Yeah. yeah, it's not gonna be that long. It's gonna be typical whatever. But Julius can go on and on and on and on. And on.